G'day, kids. How are you today? Tired? I'm feeling a bit tired too, actually. I'm feeling a bit sore neck. Anyway, let's move past that. Hey, we've been learning the gospel. And the gospel is the good news about Jesus. And you'll remember way back at the beginning, Mr. Gabbett, Bernard, would have put up his five fingers like this. Do you remember this? Can you all do this with me? Can you all put up your five fingers like this? And we learn Jesus died. Say it with me, say it with me. Died. Jesus was buried. Jesus rose from the dead for our sins according to the Scriptures. Now, this is really good news, but sort of up until last week, it's not been really good news, has it? But we've reached the good news bits. The good news bits are the best bits, I reckon. So I'm going to take you through the box from last week, because I didn't draw it last week because I sang a song. So we're going to do the box from last week, and we're going to do the box for this week all at once, because I think it's a package deal. You can't have one without the other one, okay? So here we go. Because God loves us, God sent his son, Jesus, into the world. Jesus died to take our punishment. Write a little J there so we know that's Jesus. So that we could be forgiven. That's great news, isn't it? The punishment that we deserve, he's taken all that. But guess what? There is more. It gets even better. Okay? So God brought Jesus back from the dead. He brought him back to life again and made him king of everything because he loves us. And one day Jesus will come back. Now, isn't that fantastic news now? Not only has he died to take the punishment for us, but now he has been raised to life again. And do you know what that means for us? That means that we can have new life with him too. He's taken the punishment for us, and now we can have new life too. Great news. Let's, let's try that again. Great news. Great. Great news. That's fantastic news. Okay? There's our boxes for this week. Next week, though, we learn that there's then two ways to live then. But I'm not going to talk about that. That person can talk next week. But I will remind you now also, though, next week is the memory verse challenge. I reckon we've probably all forgotten about that. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 to 5. Now, you might hear that and go, gee, that's long. 3 to 5, it's not actually very long. You'll get it, I promise. All right, let's pray, and then we'll grab our kid sheets. God, thank you so much for Jesus. Thank you that you have saved us. Thank you for his death. Thank you that he rose to life. Thank you that we can have new life with him too. We thank you for all these great things you have done for us. Amen.